Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Homestyle Cooking. I am Mrs. Ragini. Today I want to share a sweet recipe and this is with bottle gourd. With bottle gourd we can make n varieties of sweets, n varieties of snacks and n varieties of curries also. So dear friends, I already showed you couple of curries and couple of you know snacks try those out and today we are going to make a burfi out of bottle gourd so what you need is you need a bottle gourd and you need to peel the skin and grate it like this and in bottle gourd you have lot of moisture if you want you can squeeze out and then cook it but you know if you squeeze out the moisture then you know what are the vitamins are there it will go away so i don't want to squeeze out the moisture we are going to cook this bottle gourd along with sugar till we get the burfi consistency i'm going to show it to you how so let's start first we are going to add some ghee not too much very little and in this we are going to add some cashew nuts and also some almonds you can finely chop it and add it and we are going to slightly saute this and then we are going to add our bottle gourd. Bottle gourd in Telugu we call it as sorakaya. This is slightly sorted. We are going to add this bottle gourd. We are going to just cook this for 2 minutes in this ghee so that the bottle gourd becomes slightly soft and then we can add sugar and we can get it into burfi consistency. I am going to show you how. You know you can make it other way also. First you can boil the sugar syrup and then add your bottle gourd or otherwise like this how I am showing it to you so both the ways you can make it why I am not making first sugar syrup because anyway if we add bottle gourd to the sugar syrup it will ooze out lot of moisture so again we need to cook it so this is a better way another one minute it should be good this is the same way you know making like halwa itself and now this is slightly dry dear friends what we are going to do is we are going to transfer this into a plate. You can see this is slightly dry and in the same bowl we are going to add sugar. As per sweetness you can add sugar and some water, not too much, just to melt our sugar because we need to make a syrup. So don't add too much water and increase your flame and let this boil. So friends here you can see our sugar syrup is getting ready. You can see it's come to one string consistency. See it's dropping into one string like this. It should become little more and in this we are going to add some cardamom powder for flavoring and now we are going to add this bottle gourd. You can see this is formed a nice yeah this is formed into a string and now we are going to add the bottle gourd and this will ooze out again moisture so we need to cook for some more time once you add your bottle gourd again the bottle gourd will ooze out lot of moisture so we need to bring this into a slightly soft ball consistency the moment you get it into soft ball consistency then you need to take a tray and just if you want apply a little bit ghee on top of this and pour your mixture and then let it set for some time you will get excellent burfi. See, it was into one string consistency. If you see now, this is like liquid again. So we need to cook for another three to four minutes. You know, dear friends, put the flame into high. Don't go anywhere, otherwise this will become a lump. Dear friends, now you can see this is oozing out the pan, but it is not yet ready. If you want to check it, what you can do is very slowly take little bit and try to, you know, make a dumpling out of this you should able to make a nice ball like this and another two minutes it should be ready if you're going to cook it over then this will become crystals so don't cook too much just for another one minute and we can just transfer this into a plate and set it so here i have applied some ghee so friends here you can see this has become into a nice single lump and it has oozed out from the pan also now this is all ready to set. Just switch off the flame. We need to transfer this. Let it set. So we are going to transfer this onto a tray with the help of a spoon or with the hands because this will be nice and hot. So with the help of a spoon, just try to arrange it. Spread it so that we can cut this once this rests. Difference, 
we are going to let this rest for at least 30 to you know 40 minutes then we can cut this into nice you know small small pieces i had very little amount of you know bottle gourd so i made very less if you have more then you can take as per sweetness you can take the sugar you can increase the quantity of your bottle gourd so this i'm going to rest it for some time and then we are going to cut this after resting it for one hour here is our bottle gourd burfi and this is nice and soft mm. and this will be chewy chewy unlike coconut burfi this is little bit different but excellent taste and it's cooked perfectly all the dry fruits in between and if you see it is not sticking to my hands but still it is nice and chewy chewy so dear friends i hope you enjoyed this simple bottle gourd burfi if you like it make it and also share it with your friends so that everybody can make fresh food and feed their family see you in another session with some more recipes right now i'm going to have this